all the leaks and rumors and anticipation, it comes down to this right here. The PlayStation 5 Pro, I gotta say, this is probably one of the most controversial PlayStation Sony has ever made. It doesn't come with a stand, it doesn't come with an optical drive, and it costs an eye-watering $699. And speaking of the stand, I actually have it right here and I'm gonna unbox it. PlayStation did send this out for me as a gift. Um, they are seeing this video the first time that you guys are seeing this. Now looking at the front of the box, it says PS5 Pro. It's all black, insinuating that this is a digital only uh, PS5. Very similar to the regular PlayStation 5, which is a way bigger box, by the way. It was all black, and I gotta blow the dust off this because this has been a whopping four years. But side-by-side -side comparison, between the regular PS5 Digital Edition versus the PS5 Pro. Now, the OG PS5 has a handle, because this box is massive, while the Pro doesn't have a handle whatsoever. Now, I do happen to have a PS5 Slim here box, and it's exactly the same, same exact box. Well, actually, the Pro is a little bit longer, but in terms of the height, is exactly the same. But if you go with the digital only PS5 Slim, the box is also gonna be black too as well. Let's just peel the sticker off. But one thing I am very curious to unbox is the 30th anniversary, which I do have it ordered. So stay tuned for that unboxing. That's gonna be very interesting. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Of course, you have your power plug. Right, you gotta need to power it up somehow. And of course you have your uh, high speed HDMI cable to support 4K, well up to 4K 120. And you have your USB type C, the type C for charging your DualSense controller. And of course you get the controller itself, which unfortunately you do not get the DualSense Edge. This is just a regular DualSense controller. Um, I'm very quickly gonna pair up my DualSense Edge, which by the way, if you guys missed my review on that, I'll throw a link in the description if you're interested. Uh, and inside the box, you have the included horizontal stand. Uh, so this is just to lay down your consoles flat. Um, me personally, uh, I'm gonna have to use this because most of the time I'm gonna have my PS5 inside the entertainment cabinet. And then we have the Coupe de Gras, the PS5 Pro. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, the PlayStation 5 Pro, right here. This is it. You have the infamous Adidas stripes on the side, uh, or the fins, I should say. And it looks just like a PS5 Slim, but just a little bit more taller and a little bit wider. And yes, you have your two USB-C's on the front, your power button, that glossy finish on the middle, which a lot of people don't like, um, including me, I like a more matte finish just to reduce the micro scratches and everything, but I actually do like the way how this looks. It's growing on me. I saw a couple unboxings and first looks of this, but yeah, this is pretty good. The back of it, you have USB-A's, you have your ethernet, and as well as your HDMI. And of course your power is right down below. I have my digital edition regular PS5 and I've been rocking out with this. I, I wasn't really a big fan of the Slim and considering that there's no point, it's the same exact processing power. It just didn't make sense to switch to the Slim. But now we have the Pro, it's gonna feel, basically I'm right at home. There's no CD drive, just like how I usually rock out. And in terms of the height, it's exactly the same. It's literally exactly the same exact height. Having the Pro a little bit more narrow, that's definitely gonna help for entertainment pieces. Okay, and here's the middle child, the PS5 Slim with the disc drive on the side. And as you could clearly see, do I have this right? We have the Pro, the Slim, the OG. Easily, the Slim is definitely the shortest but it's not really by much. Yeah, the Slim and the Pro, in terms of just the depth, is exactly the same. But the height is definitely longer on the PS5 Pro, without a doubt. Now, in case you guys have been living under a rock, you can customize the plates. Oh my God, I hate doing that. <laughs> I really do hate doing that, it didn't break. And I'm gonna conveniently take the CD drive, I keep on calling it the CD drive. 
I'm gonna take the optical drive off of the Slim. Okay, that was a lot easier on the Slim. I think Sony watched my video that I made a couple of years back. You gotta put these two latches on. And then that's it. Now I have a CD drive. I did it again. I have an optical drive on my PS5 Pro. And it makes the console a little bit more solid because it's a wider footprint. So if you set it up vertically, you might not even need the stand, but keep in mind there's no rubber feet, so it is gonna slide around, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, it's very easy to add in the optical drive, and of course you have your eject button present on the drive itself there. And I just literally took it from a PS5 Slim and put it onto the Pro. So if you're upgrading from the Slim, then this is gonna be a worthy upgrade. You don't have nothing to worry about. But the problem is the top portions of the plate isn't gonna work. It's not gonna be compatible. I'm sure Sony is gonna make some more plates, but it's just, it's unfortunate how you gotta go out and get whole new plates again. You can see by just by a little bit, look at that. Just by a little bit, that's the reason why it can't work. Now, I'm actually gonna take off the CD drive because I really don't like the way how the optical drives look like on the PS5. I just love the symmetry of the digital edition, but I do understand the convenience. You guys are gonna try out the convenience, but me personally, i rather have no CD drive. Keep on calling it CD drive. All right, much better on the PS5 Pro. Now, before I even do anything, let's just quickly unbox the vertical stand real fast. I think what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna put it on my computer desk, my PS5, and just, like, I don't know, I wanna have my PS5 standing up because it looks so much better. And you know, out of all the PlayStations that Sony came out with, we always had vertical stands going back to like the PS2 that I can remember. So I never really, I never once got the stand, but hey, I gotta say this stand looks pretty good. It has a nice shiny finish. This will also work for the OG PS5. So if you wanna change the look of your stand, you can do so. Now, what makes this stand better, it has rubber feet. So now that rubber feet is gonna stop it from sliding and everything, so. And I think without further ado, I think it is time to boot this thing up and see what's exactly new. Yeah, about this, I haven't really been playing the PS5 Pro because I've been traveling. I'm actually in Toronto, Canada. Look at that Canada flag right there. Look at that CN Tower right there. You guys see that? This is just a bonus clip though. But come to think about it, this is like upgrading your portal because now this is connected to the PS5 Pro. So you have all the bells and whistles of the PS5 Pro right on the palm of your hands, basically. You have a brand new theme. So this is only exclusive to the PS5 Pro. So you already know. Somebody has a pro if you see this theme, but unfortunately you're not gonna see the pro icon. So for instance, it's just the same exact logo, PS5 logo. So you're not even getting a PS5 Pro logo, just to indicate that you have the PS5 Pro. Um, but I've been playing Spider-Man 2, Call of Duty, and even Astro's Bot, I gotta finish that game. But let me know down in the comments down below, which system would you go with? We have the PS5 Pro, PS5 Slim. We have the OG PS5, which is always gonna be a classic. This just remind me of people are struggling to get this. And if you have the original PS5 right now, yo, you're gonna look at this design and be like, yo, I remember when this came out, people were like fighting online to get it, and the scalpers online. But then the Slim was just like, all right, this is the one that most people are probably gonna have. And then now we have the pro, this is just the tryhards. Um, that's not a bad thing, this is for the pros. And I will be switching to the PS5 and I'm gonna be putting my OG PS5 back in the box. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing some extensive testing to see if it's gonna be worth the $700 price tag or should you just get a PS5 Slim and call it a day. That is where I'm gonna end out the video. Subscribe with notifications on, comment down below what you guys think. Drop a like on this video and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and on X at Simply Pops. Until next time, have a simple day.